If you have been into hip hop for the last 10 years, it's almost impossible not to know the name Mike Dean. A legend to the ones who are in the know, Mike Dean's catalog includes Scarface of the Ghetto Boys, Tupac Shakur, Jay-Z, and Travis Scott. Since 2004, he's been a right-hand man in the studio, as well as on tour with Kanye West. The centerpiece of his studio is the MPC 3000. You can see him using one here. To be fair, Mike Dean is a multi-instrumentalist and preferred his fair share of Moog products. Mike Dean prefers the Moog Voyager and the Moog Matriarch according to a Reverb article where he talks about his five pieces of equipment in the studio. In that article, he also mentions the Rupert Neve Design 5060 mixer, the Black Corporation Kijimi, Decker's Dream, and the Antelope Goliath. Here is all of the other Moog products Mike Dean owned. Wait for it. The Moog Mother 32, the Moog Grandmother Dark, the Moog Matriarch Dark, the Moog System 35, the Moog Sub 37 Paraphonic Analog Synthesizer, the Moog Little Fatty Stage 2, the Moog DFAM, the Moog 1, and that's it. <laughs> Mike is probably one of the biggest gearheads in the producer community, so you know he doesn't stop there. Here is all of the Behringer Simpsy owned. The Behringer Neutron, the Behringer Odyssey, the Behringer Model D, the Behringer K2, the Behringer MS1 BK, the Behringer RD8, and the Behringer Vakoda VC340. To be fair, he received the entire Behringer line of synthesizers from Behringer and posted on his Instagram page. In an interview with Tape OP, he was asked, when you left Selena's band, what was your studio rig like? He answered, I was 23 or 24. At that point, it had a couple of drum machines. My first was a sequential circus drum tracks and the Alessis HR-16. My first recording machine was the Commodore 64 computer. It changed my life because I could do eight tracks, which was a big deal then. Also according to that article, he used the ASR-10 and the Ensonic EPS-16+, Plus, but unfortunately, I wasn't able to verify it due to them wanting a subscription of $6 a month. I love y'all, that's kind of steep to be paying just to verify two machines. <laughs> I'll put it in the gear list because there's a very high chance he actually used those machines due to his love of collecting keyboards. But let me know in the comment section if you would have paid the $5.95 to verify it. As far as rolling machines, he owned the Rolling JDXI, the Rolling Juno 106, and the Rolling Jupiter 8. You can also peep the rows in that picture as well. As far as his Korg keyboards, he owned the Korg M3, the Korg Triton, the Korg Delta, and the Korg Trinity. Being a synth head, you know Mike didn't have the sequential Prophet 6 and the world famous Yamaha CS80. Last but not least, he owned the ASM Hydra Synth and the Atoria Matrix Brew Analog Synthesizer. As far as DAWs, Mike Dean uses Ableton, FL Studio, and of course the granddaddy of them all, Pro Tools. Mike Dean is one of the most accomplished producers of the 21st century, working with some of the greatest artists of all time, including Travis Scott, Kanye West, Madonna, Beyonce, and The Weeknd. Shoutouts to Manfreya for the recommendation on Mike Dean. If you have a producer that I haven't done yet, or something interested about the producer that I didn't cover, put it in the comment section below. If you are interested in any of the equipment I spoke about in this video, I have included a link to it in the description below. Thanks for watching.